Hi, Matt here with Uniweld Products. Uniweld's two-valve brass manifold has a valve stem assembly with a Teflon seat and a Teflon packing washer. Teflon is an extremely durable material and is compatible with all refrigerants and lubricants used in the HVAC industry. The manifold is an important diagnostic tool that an HVACR technician will use daily. And after extensive use of the manifold, it is possible to experience some leaking here at the valve connection. A simple fix for this is to re-tighten this brass packing nut onto the manifold body. But first, check to see if any foreign debris has found its way inside the manifold. Unscrew the brass packing nut and remove the valve stem assembly from the manifold body by turning the metal hand wheel counterclockwise. If any foreign debris has found its way inside, it can score the Teflon and prevent it from sealing properly. Once the manifold and valve stem assembly are clear of foreign debris, reattach the valve stem assembly by turning the metal hand wheel clockwise and tighten the brass packing nut on the manifold body for a complete seal. The tightening of the packing nut is done by feel. The nut should be wrenched tight and the hand wheel should turn to open and close the valve with some resistance. If the hand wheel feels tight and is difficult to turn, you may have over tightened the packing nut and should loosen it slightly. After retightening the brass packing washer on the manifold body, if the valve continues to leak, then the Teflon seat and packing washer will need to be replaced. This is also a simple repair that can be done two different ways. Uniweld's QVK2 Manifold Valve Repair Kit or Uniweld's QA200A Full Valve Assembly. Now the simplest and most straightforward option is to replace the full valve assembly. To repair the manifold, unscrew the brass packing nut and remove the valve stem assembly from the manifold body by turning the metal hand wheel counterclockwise. Screw the new valve assembly onto the manifold body by turning the metal hand wheel clockwise and tighten the brass packing nut on the manifold body for a complete seal. The second option, the QVK2 Rebuild Kit, includes two Teflon washers and two Teflon valve seats, allowing you to rebuild both the high and low side valve stem assemblies. First, unscrew the brass packing nut and remove the valve stem assembly from the manifold body by turning the metal hand wheel counterclockwise. Using pliers, unscrew the Teflon seat from the valve stem. The threads inside the valve stem are reversed, so removing the Teflon is clockwise and screwing it in is counterclockwise. The new Teflon seat does not have threads. It is self-tapping, so be sure to thread it straight into the end of the brass stem. Use pliers to fully screw in the Teflon seat. Be careful not to squeeze the pliers too tightly as this can score the Teflon and prevent it from sealing properly. When the Teflon is fully screwed in, it will not bottom out and stop rotating. Stop screwing in the Teflon seat once it is flush with the brass valve stem. If you continue to screw it in, the brass threads can strip the Teflon. Remove the screw at the end of the valve stem and remove the metal hand wheel, packing nut, brass packing washer, and the old Teflon washer. Leave the flat washer in place and slide the new Teflon washer on the valve stem. Take note that the brass packing washer is tapered on one side. This design will compress the Teflon washer inward, allowing it to cold flow around the valve stem for a tight seal. Slide the brass packing washer on the valve stem with the tapered side facing the Teflon. Then replace the packing nut and metal hand wheel. Once the Teflon seat and packing washer have been replaced, the valve stem assembly can be reattached to the manifold body by turning the metal hand wheel clockwise. Then, tighten the brass packing nut on the manifold body for a complete seal.
Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniweld, quality tools that go to work with you.